Hey guys, I'm BJ from Brighton, and today I'm going to show you a couple of appetizers that are sure going to kill at your next cocktail party. So you might have heard of bruschetta, the ones that you see at the typical Italian restaurants with the tomato and the basil. I came up with a couple of variations that are really easy to make and are really, really impressive. So the first things we want to do is we want to prep our toasts. So here I just have some slices of ciabatta, nice hearty bread. You can use whatever you'd like, whatever you have available. And what I'm going to do is just brush it with a little bit of olive oil. You can drizzle it if you don't have a pastry brush. So just a quick little thing. This is going to help it get a nice little golden crust on the top. Super easy. Put this to the side. And I have my oven set to the broiler. Now you're going to want to watch these really carefully so they don't burn. So toss them in there and say see you later. All right. So now, let's get to our broccoli rob. So broccoli rob, if you've never had it before, is kind of a mix between broccolis and some like collard greens and a little bit of arugula. It's got a little bit of a peppery bite to it, and it's really, really nice with, uh, with some chili and garlic. So if you see these stalks are really thick, they're not going to cook very quickly in the pan itself, so we're going to give it a little bit of help. And what we're going to do is we're going to blanch it. Now what that means is we're going to simmer it in some boiling water first, and then take it out, and it'll be half cooked. So I just cut off the, uh, the woody stems there, have a big pot of boiling water, and it goes, cover the lid, two to three minutes, it'll be done. Now every time that I'm doing something, I'm just gonna check on these toasts to make sure they, uh, they don't burn, they're looking good so far. All right, so let's take care of the garlic now. Now I'm gonna prepare it three different ways. One of the cloves I'm gonna slice really thin, one of them I'm gonna chop really fine, and the other one I'm just gonna cut in half to use later to rub down the toast. So when I'm not doing, doing this or cooking, cooking up a storm in our kitchens here, my day job is that I'm actually the founder of a new online recipe startup called MyRecipe.com. And what we do is we make it really easy to manage all of your recipes in one place online. So that recipe box your mom has on our counter, get rid of it, put it all online with MyRecipe. You'll see all these recipes from today on there as well. So three kinds of garlic. So let's check on our toasts. These guys are done. That's all you want right there. A little brown on the outside. It's going to be a little crunchy and it's also going to be chewy on the inside so you can still bite through it and the toppings don't fall off. Toss it to the side to cool off. Check on this broccoli, Rob. That looks perfect. So the thing about blanching is that you're going to boil it part way first and then you want to dunk it right into some ice water. So I've got a big bowl of ice water here. I'm just going to take this stuff out, my tongs, and in it goes. Oh yeah. So what this does is it actually stops the cooking. So you're going to stop the cooking, you're going to make it be really, really bright green, um, you're going to be able to handle it later, and it's going to cook through really nicely and really quick in your saute pan. All right, so uh, I think we got most of the stuff together for our broccoli rob. Why don't we get on to our mushrooms? So here I just got some, uh, some sliced baby bellas. I bought these pre-packaged. If you want to buy your own cremini's or shiitake's or white mushrooms, whatever you like, just you know, any kind of really hearty mushroom are going to be really del delicious in this. I let the store do the work for me. That's there. Got a little bit of onion that I just chopped up really fine. And then some thyme, which thyme and mushrooms are kind of a classic combination there. All right, so that's all done. Let's see what else, ricotta. Now if you guys don't know what ricotta is, it's this really nice spreadable fresh cheese. And when you go to the store, you wanna make sure you get the whole milk ricotta. None of that part skim, none of that no, like no fat, low fat stuff. It really doesn't taste the same. It's like drinking whole milk versus skim milk. You know, it's good once in a while, but for this kind of dish, Go for, the, uh, go for the real thing. Now, ricotta on its own is a little bit bland, so we're gonna spice it up just a little bit, give it a little zest, if you will, from uh, some lemon. So, you, all, you guys all know how to use lemon juice, but you know the zest of the lemon actually has some really nice oils in it, so um, I'm gonna show you how to take this off. So it's just a grater, probably have one of these somewhere at home, and you're just gonna rub the outside of the lemon, and you're gonna turn it as you go. And if you see, I'm taking off only the yellow part and none of the white part. Just a little more. There you go. Lemon zest. So I'm just going to toss this lemon zest into the ricotta. Add a little pinch of salt to help it. Mix it up. Done. Good to go. All right, so now we're ready to saute and put it all together. I told you, this is super, super quick. We're gonna do both at the same time, because um, I'm fancy like that, but if you don't want to, you can do them one at a time, no problem. This will sit for a while. So get my stove going here, and my other stove going there. I'm gonna use the bigger one for the broccoli rob and the smaller one for the mushrooms. All right, so for the broccoli rob. 
olive oil, extra virgin. Get a good amount in there. And just get that warming up. In the other pan, a little bit of butter, because why not? I know you saw that news about Paula Dean. Don't worry about it, all right? And we're going to toss a little bit of olive oil as well, just to give it a little more flavor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this broccoli rabe that I got earlier, drain it out, and you want to squeeze all this water. If you add this water straight to a hot pan, it's going to splatter. It's not going to be fun. So squeeze all the water out. All right. And let's just toss it onto the cutting board. I'll cut it up in a second. Oil is getting hot. Butter and olive oil here are getting hot. And it's not cooperating there. So let's go ahead and get the garlic in the pan. So remember, we got the sliced garlic for the broccoli rob. And that goes. And we got the chopped garlic for the mushrooms. And that goes. Just give them a little swizzle. Now in the pan with the, for the broccoli rob, I'm also going to use some crushed red pepper. Just the basic stuff that you put on top of your pizza that you have at home. A couple of shakes of that in there just to give it a nice little spice. And now that oil is going to become a chili garlic oil. So let's get over here to our broccoli rob. All I'm going to do is just cut these into nice little bite-sized pieces. Good to go. Garlic's looking good. And when it just starts to turn translucent, just a little bit brown, you're going to take all of this, stand back, get in the pan. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And we're just going to give it a little toss. And all you have to do, because you pretty much cook the broccoli rob all, almost all the way through, is just let that warm up together and get all that nice garlic chili goodness in there. So that's good. Let's move on to our mushrooms. All right, mushrooms go in. Give a little toss to coat it with that oil and butter and garlic. Toss in a little bit of onion, just for some extra flavor. And a little bit of salt, because salt is the best. A little bit of pepper. And we are well on our way, folks. Just gonna give this another little, little toss. Give the mushrooms a little look-see. Now, if you look in the pan, it looks really dry, so you might be tempted to add some more oil or butter, but don't. So this, the, the, the fats have gone into the uh, mushrooms. They're gonna release as the mushrooms start to cook, so. Don't, don't add any more. You're going to get a really greasy dish. This is going to be just fine. All right. Looking good, huh? I told you it was really easy, and your friends are going to be totally impressed. You're going to look like, uh, what's that Emerald Lagasse guy on TV? They're going, to think, uh, they're going to think you're a master. So believe it or not, this is done. That's it. There's nothing more to it. So I got a bowl here. I'm going to take it out. Set it to the side, turn off my heat, and that, my friends, is good to go there. All right, just make some room up here. I'm, a, I'm terrible, I make messes all the time when I cook. Girlfriend, if you're watching, there's no, you're not here to help me today, so I guess I gotta do it myself. All right, these mushrooms are looking really nice. You see what I mean? They're starting to soften. Get a little bit brown around the edges. So I lost one there. Just toss it back in. Keep that going. So in the meantime, what we can do is we can actually get our toasts ready. So I'm just going to put two on a plate so I can show you one of each. And here's my little trick. No one's going to know that you did this. So remember that clove of garlic we cut in half? I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to rub it on the outside of this. And the little ridges and the abrasive part of the toast is going to scrape some of the garlic off. So you're just going to get this really light, nice garlic flavor that's very, very subtle, but no one's going to know it's there. All right. Give these mushrooms a little toss here. 
All right. Now the ricotta. So remember that ricotta we got? Take a little spoon of it, one onto there, another onto there. Spread it with your spoon. This is going to be the base to hold all the toppings on. All right, looks good. Mushrooms are getting nice and tasty. Now let's hit it with a little bit of wine. So this is just a Cabernet Sauvignon. You can use any kind of dry red wine that you want. Maybe about half a cup or so. I don't know. I just kind of eyeball it. Yeah, it looks good. And we're just going to let that cook together and we're going to let it reduce, which means we're going to evaporate some of the water out of the red wine, just let it get nice and thick, coat the mushrooms. I'm going to toss in my thyme now. Boom. And it goes. See how that's already getting nice and thick? All right. Now last little bit, half and half cream, whatever you got in hand, we're just gonna toss just a little bit in there just to kind of help make it a little bit more creamy, a little more delicious. Give it just a minute to warm through. And we are almost done. All right, let's get rid of all this, uh, all this junk here. All right, we are ready to plate. Grab a spoon. So the first thing we're gonna do is get some of this broccoli rob. Just get a little bit. Put it right on top of your toasts. It's pr really pretty, isn't it? Nice and green and bright. Then we're just going to get some of these mushrooms out of here. Right on top of the toast as well. All right, so let's give this a taste. Let's try the mushroom one first. Mm. Oh yeah. So the warmth of the mushrooms kind of melted the ricotta a little bit. Nice and creamy. The bread's still holding up, got a little garlic. Awesome. Try this one. Mm. You can see that. Really, really nice. It's bright and it's fresh. Got a little bit of spice from the chili peppers. I think I'm a little over ambitious with that bite, but you guys should too. Try it out. I think you'll really like it. And Emerald, watch out. I'm coming for you. Mm.